<laughs> hey guys, Thomas here, and today we'll be looking at... Wait, what? Two anime instead of one? Say what? Now, what other anime channel would give you such a good deal? Fuck me, I'm a saint. Anyways, the anime that we are going to get into today are going to be Seko Boys and... Oh boy, Ozmafia. Both came out last year and both were equally horrible. But now, on to the review. Wait, I gotta fix this one thing. On to the review! Let's start with Oz Mafia. And ooh! Straight away we are greeted by a horrible animation style. Everybody has these big heads and small bodies that animators use in big budget anime, but to show some surreal emotions that weren't possible otherwise. Here it's the standard! What's more is that at the end of each episode, they show quality versions of the characters so we know that they can animate pretty well. They just like mocking us, saying, fuck you dumbasses, you thought we couldn't animate? Well, we can, motherfuckers! But I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt and guessing that they just didn't have enough budget to animate them all that way. But dudes, have you heard of fan service? People eat that shit up, it's like money town. Location, United States of Cashville. So the animation is subpar, but what about the characters? I don't know, I can't actually say. Around three days have passed since I last saw the anime and I have no clear recollection of any of the characters or actually what even happens in the episodes. The side characters don't serve any other function than to give information to the main character and the main character doesn't serve any other function than to give information to the viewer. So the plot must be good if it only focuses on that, right? Uh, firstly, I have to mention of course that it's a comedy. Since if you have an anime shorter than 10 minutes, it has to be a comedy and involve as many puns as humanly possible. The big question that you're asking right now, just screaming at the monitor, Thomas, answer me is of course, does this anime have anything to do with Legend of Oz or the Mafia? And the answer, the short answer is, of course! That! Those jokes are still in, right? Why would you even think that? It's more of a school anime with some action-y parts, as in the main character arrives in a secret school? Uh, I'm only guessing it's a secret school since the guard almost kills the main character in the first minute because he thinks he's a spy. But at least they managed to set up the hatred of the main character pretty fast since, as everybody knows, all good anime have to have a person who every now and then shits on the main character. So we meet our three teachers who are supposed to educate the main character in their own subjects, which are never told to us since they focus on the Mafia part and the Legend of Oz. But, no, no. Oz Mafia is mostly an episodic anime, which means you can pick a random episode and watch it and have no fucking clue what's going on. But it's not because you missed the last episode, but instead because it's shit. There is one overarching storyline that states that they're in a war with another school. Like a literal war. In the second half they draw guns and start shooting up the place like it's the middle of the second world war. And then the teachers use their magical abilities and uh, turn into cute animals because those are easier to sell to little kids. I'm uh, reading my notes and apparently they made an entire episode about a girl who tries to sell matches. I have no recollection of that ever happening. Huh, I guess that did happen. And if you have played some visual novel games before, then you might actually notice that it kind of resembles one. And what do you know? It is a visual novel on Steam. For $31.99. Hell no. Nah. If it's even close to the anime, then it's complete shit. But anyways, uh, on to the next step. Okay, now let's talk about Sekobo. Now, this I can get behind a bit. While Oz Mafia seemed like another one of those school anime with a little 
action sprinkled in. Seco Boys, on the other hand, is about boy bands and shows all kinds of different aspects that are come with it. Now, while it's still pretty shit, it does accomplish bringing up most of the predominant features what come with being in a boy band, and left me with a couple of ideas how hard it can actually be and how stupid the anime is. Like at the end, spoiler, they even satirize the fact that all of them look the same and if one of them was lost, you don't have to worry because there are dozens of others to choose from. So that was the good part of the anime. Now let's spend the rest of the time taking a metaphorical dump on it. First of all, they are statues. What the fuck? I'm okay with it for some reason. I would have guessed that it's too idiotic for me, but it didn't disturb me that much. Compared to Oz Mafia, the animation is pretty good, even if at points kinda cheap. Especially with cutouts of statues as main characters. Holy shit, how cheap can you get? Of course, each of the statues has their own personality, like people would have in boy bands. They just never move their lips to talk or make any facial expressions or move at all because they are freaking statues. Oh, okay, that's the last I'll bring up the statue part. So we start the anime with seeing them get a new manager. They go to TV shows, they have fun, at points even having some funny moments in. They try to make it surreal and comedic, uh, but it's mostly hit and miss. Like they have one episode where one of the members turned out to be a seller for a pyramid scheme. And on paper it seems pretty good. Like it's a fine idea, but once you start actually making it into something, it falls apart pretty quickly. It's another one of those gag anime that really doesn't have any need to exist. So, Oz Mafia was crap, plain and simple. I'm pretty sure the animation was made just to advertise their game, but at least they weren't as blatant with it as uh, some unmentionable anime. But the story felt incomplete and boring most of the time. I had to watch the last episode three times because I got lost in my thoughts every time thinking about, I don't know, better anime probably. And while Seco Boys wasn't as painful to watch as Oz Mafia, since it had a more comprehensible plot that I could kind of follow, it's still like comparing a bullet to the arm to uh, just chopping it off with a fucking uh, hacksaw. It might be good at the core with some solid points, but it sucks, it's fuck. So this has been my 2 for 1 Thursday special. I hope you enjoyed watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye!